if someone were to ask you the question, and maybe you have been asked it already, what do you make as a teacher? Our first thoughts typically are what? Money, Money right? If someone were to ever ask you that question, would you ever think to give an answer like, I made a difference? Mm -hmm. What do you make? Mm -hmm. So I think that uh, it, it strongly speaks to the reason that we are teachers and why we're in the classroom. Doesn't uh, you know? It's not about money in most cases. Um, we're there because we feel like that uh, we can make a difference. Uh, I have a little bumper sticker that I got on how many years ago. It says something to the effect, uh, changing the world one child at a time. Um, but here's an interesting question to ponder. Are we teaching and assessing the way our students need to be taught? Rhetorical is that one you want to ask? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So, to follow that up, how do we find out the best way or ways to teach and assess our students? Trial and error. Trial and error. Certainly one of the ways that has been around for a long, long time. Any other thoughts? Research. Yes. Research? Okay. So, the task is now, I've got some objects up here, some items up here, scissors, tape, clay, some uh, newsprint, we've also got some of the uh, chart paper if you want to use that, tape, markers, I would like you to either, in small groups or individually, I'd like you to come up with some sort of visualization, I'm giving you some examples, of at least one concept or, you know, some way to say this is what I learned from the conference over the past two days. Okay? That's okay. As many days as you're here for. And uh, we want to see your presentation so you've got about 40 minutes uh, to do it because we'd like to spend about the last 15 minutes, right here 245, spend about the last 15 minutes actually seeing what you've come up with. So, let's have at it. Okay? You can do it individually, small groups, however you'd like to do it. I've got a table set out here, I've got some nourishment for you to keep it going. And, uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and start with this group up here. So everybody gather around this table here. Uh, if you want to take pictures of the group, we'll, uh, we'll take pictures. After the tour is over with, gather around your individual places and we'll uh, we'll take pictures of your creations. So, without further ado, we'll let you guys tell us what you got. Who's the curator here? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, would it be better if we all stood up there on the ramp? Maybe we need to turn it around and turn the table. Okay. I'll come on this side. Yeah. So you okay. Can get a better view. We're just sharing with, with you all what we experienced over the past two days. Um, I didn't participate in the part that actually had the artwork from Recycled Goods, but because it was very important that she educated us about it, that was, it was very important. So this is basically a snapshot of what we've seen and what we've experienced. We want to share from our, the butterflies to our CPS green bus, which took us to our various spots to our smokestacks and steel mill, which is what we're trying to actually improve in the area. So you had your good things and your things that we need to change our hot spots. Wow. And the window, which is an alternative energy for the future. Our solar panels, utilizing the sun. Wow. Our butterflies, which means we are doing the right thing to bring them back into our area. Bugs, that's what <laughs> <laughs> And our trees, our tree survey, you had the, the trees with the normal roots, the trees with the roots that would actually allow the tree to absorb more food nutrients from the soil and grow greater. And this bus is using biodiesel, so. <laughs> so it's the good and the bad, where we are now versus where we want to be in the future. Oh, cool. Good job. Excellent. All right, let's move on.
onto this table. <laughs> so the flowers. Cat tail. <laughs> okay, cool. And um, yeah, since like the whole conference was about kind of like using the environment to teach things, there's a student and a teacher. <laughs> I love it. Cat tail. <laughs> Right. Uh, table. We'll start here, and maybe Laura, you'll do your part too. All right, this is uh, the Ford uh, Environmental Center. So we went to Hagwish Marsh today, um, and um, you know the concept behind the green building there is best nest. So um, we have the design of the building, and then the bird gathering the materials, um, and solar panels, and we've got the um, bridge that we walked across. That is. A beaver that looks like a manatee. There's <laughs> 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 some deer tracks. Um, prairie flowers. We've got the cattail too, because we didn't know that there was uh, two different species of cattail, so that's really interesting to learn. And then some um, native prairie grasses to represent the savanna area. Um, and so this was just a, a walk there today, mm -hmm. our representation of our walk. And then we have that over there, it's that little structure that's abstract. Um, it represents the marsh, the black is the earth, the green is the natural life that goes through it, and all those other bright colors are competing forces for that piece of land. Mm -hmm. cool. Is there a friendly yeah. color in there? <laughs> the marsh that we saw today that is really in our backyard, especially the people that live around here in the Calumet area. Um, so these are like the, the, the tall buildings and the lone flower, wildflower that is growing in our backyard. And it could also be tied back to Eden Place. And it says, nature is in our backyard, protect it. So when the sun peeking out and barely getting to the flower, but that flower is growing tall. <laughs> that was awesome. Can you see how something like this can be applicable in your classroom? Mm -hmm. I mean, what creativity in like, you know what, half an hour. Sure. And you, you were able to show something about what you learned and in a very creative way. And kids are into that. Mm -hmm. You know, believe it or not, you know, it might take them a little bit to come up with the ideas, but you know, it all rehearsed in their conversations. Ah, I'm not an artist, but hey, you know, look what, look what you created.